Welcome back. This is Exposing 21st Century Satanism here on YouTube. This channel is dedicated to exposing Satan and glorifying and proclaiming the name of our Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord our God. And today I am going to read you an article from Beyond Today with the website ucg.org and I will post the article in the description for you to read and to go over yourself now today the message in this video is specifically the surprising saying of jesus christ <clears throat> and this is how this message from this article is translated so it says what is the gospel that jesus christ taught so listen if we are to understand the point of Jesus' teaching, message, and mission, we need to be sure we understand the gospel, the good news that he taught. It's clear from the scriptures that Jesus' teaching focused on the kingdom of God. Now, <clears throat> if we go into the article and we read, we'll get into why they believe, and not only why I believe personally that the scriptures of Jesus Christ in his good message were mainly focused on the kingdom of god because as we know it this earth has been taken over by satan and his fallen angels so therefore christ died on the cross and paid the ultimate sacrifice so we could have eternal life through jesus christ our savior the lord our god what is the message jesus christ brought and taught it seems like a simple enough question but most people don't give it much thought they know jesus preached the gospel which means or comes from the old english god's spell as in g-o-d-s-p-e-l meaning good news or good message but what is that message this is where things can get a little murky many think that the gospel of christ is a gospel exclusively about christ in doing so they focus almost entirely on the messenger while neglecting the message he brought and the distinction is the distinction that is important, absolutely. If we fail to understand his central message, we will fail to grasp the whole point of his teachings, the reason for his coming and why he promises to come again upon the earth. Now, in this, in this it goes on to say, we also fail to comprehend dozens of vital prophecies throughout the Bible. Jesus' message ties all of these things together in a theme that is truly good news that has great implications not only for your future, but for that of the entire earth. Now, so what Jesus' message was <clears throat> is let go, <clears throat> let's go through some of his statements to be sure we understand it so here <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> it goes on to say the gospel of the kingdom of god we find christ's message summarized in mark 1 14 through 15 now after john was put in prison jesus came to galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of god and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand repent and believe in the gospel emphasis added throughout jesus's teachings we see centered on the gospel the good news of the kingdom of god he also taught that people must believe that message and repent of their sins Repentance is a prerequisite to entering the kingdom of God. And one thing the devil loves to do is to distort God's words. Now listen, other, ver other verses confirm that the kingdom of God was at the heart of Christ's message. Matthew 4.23 tells us that Jesus went out about all of Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Several, trap several chapters later, Matthew adds, Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 9, 35. After Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, he appeared to his disciples 
being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Acts 1-3, Luke 4-43 records Jesus saying, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities, to the other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. Now, confusion arises about the kingdom of God. It's clear that the scriptures that Jesus is teaching focused on the kingdom of God. As Luke recorded, Christ said God sent him to proclaim this specific message. There should be little doubt about what Jesus taught. Regrettably, that isn't the case. People have differing ideas of what the kingdom of God is. Some believe it is all of Christianity, which, in my opinion, I believe the kingdom of God is related to Jesus Christ and revolves around Christianity. But I will continue. Some view it as the sum total of all that is good and right in the world. But we know specifically, if we know the truth, that Jesus Christ was the truth and he came to preach the good news. And that is which we are the church in the kingdom of God and that we should preach the good news to people that don't believe in Jesus because Jesus Christ not only told us that the ones that are non-believers should become believers but through becoming a believer in Jesus Christ you are given the salvation of eternal life in heaven to reign forever and ever more with the Lord our God and the King Jesus Christ <clears throat> so, regarding the, la regarding the latter, notice how the Catholic Encyclopedia explains this common perception. But we know, if you're anybody that is awake to the truth, is that the Vatican has ties to the New World Order and the elites that are in control of America. Because if you go back to 1871, the Rothschilds of London purchased America and turned America into a corporation, therefore turning America's freedom and liberties into a corporation. So they turned America into a indigenous, not an indigenous society, but into a corporation where the only beneficial things of this society are through consumerism and through consumerism they built this through the backs through off the backs of american citizens and off the backs of many questionable tactics and many questionable things in their quest to divide in, to, in their quest to divide america and to stop the gospel of jesus christ from being proclaimed so we need to understand that the kingdom is at hand and so even if they say that <clears throat> even if they say the kingdom means not so much a goal to be attained or a place. And this is the Catholic Encyclopedia. This is their take. We'll read this and then we'll interject our thoughts on it after we read. Explains their common, this common perception in the Catholic Encyclopedia. So they say, the kingdom means not so much a goal to be obtained or a place. It is rather a tone of mind. At one time, the kingdom means the sway of grace in men's hearts. As men, as men realized that this kingdom stood for a certain tone of mind and saw that this particular, this peculiar spirit was enshrined in the church, they began to speak of the church as the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God means then the ruling of God in our hearts. It means those principles which separate us off from the kingdom of the world and the devil. It means they it means the be, they be they begin they benign sway of grace. It means the church. So basically we can interpret that <clears throat> they're saying that at one time the kingdom means the sway of grace in men's hearts as men realized that the kingdom stood for a certain tone of mind but truly jesus christ came to proclaim his message of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of god because he knew that believers in christ were not of this world so i do agree and disagree but because of what i know of the catholic church i cannot be in support of a Vatican or a Pope who is has ties to the new world the new world order and the demonic forces that run this world especially the Rothschilds and all the banking systems that 
run this world and to del into delusional and to basically make people delusional and to keep people from seeing the truth and the truth is got the gospel of Jesus Christ so <clears throat> the continuation of messages did Christ intend for us to be confused about the central theme of his teachings can it be whatever we want it to be can we find a clear biblical explanation and so here's the thing we can we can debate and we can debate all day and we can say and we can give our opinion on what we believe the gospel's te central theme of of the teaching is but it's clear that Christ came to deliver humanity from the devil's grip and to give humanity and to give men and women the opportunity to be saved through the grace and through the blood of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ so basically the the bible the Bible is to be interpreted liber literally and not with a progressive or liberal sense, but in a literal sense, not in a sense where I'm not I'm not saying conservative or liberal. None of those even imply. It doesn't matter whether you're liberal or conservative in my mind, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, follow along with me. Jesus Christ stood for the truth in the in the kingdom of God and he shed his blood to to take over the to take over what he was already king of Jesus Christ came to pay the ultimate price he was already king but he came down in the flesh and died a mortal and died a mortal death but in but in the spirit of god he was so he never truly died he only died a mortal death, but in the spirit, he was forever, forever alive, forevermore. And when he rose again on the third day to, proc to proclaim the scriptures and the prophecy, his disciples saw that Jesus Christ had risen. And when they saw him, they could see that Jesus Christ was truly the God and truly the creator. And that that is when they started to proclaim the good message and became Christians because the term Christian derives from the actual saying of Jesus Christ or it is it is our modern term to de to define what it means to follow Jesus Christ so to be a Christian is to be a follower of Jesus Christ so we don't really need to sit here and debate on the theme of the teaching because the devil himself loves to cause you doubt and loves to bring about confusion but if we take the bible's um, definition and its teaching literal we'll be able to understand that the kingdom of god is at hand and was forever was forever at hand and will forever be and forevermore be and the powers of the demonic forces shall perish and they will perish in the lake of fire and that is the second death and so Jesus Christ is going to come back and he will and he will show his glory with all his angels but we need to know that it says here we will read a little bit more in the article that they say Christ's teaching about the kingdom of God God's Christ's teaching about the kingdom of God becomes clear when we understand that Jesus was building on the message God had revealed centuries earlier through the prophets of Israel. God inspired these men to write of a coming world ruling government, which is obviously the secret societies in the Illuminati or the elites or the New World Order. He inspired the, these men to write of a coming world ruling government, a physical, literal kingdom in which the Messiah would administer God's laws and the way of life to bring peace and prosperity to humanity. The prophet Daniel, for example, saw a vision in which the Messiah receives this kingdom. I was watching in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. Daniel 7, 13-14. See also Daniel 2, 44. Excuse me. 
Now, Isaiah also wrote of the coming Messiah and his kingdom. For unto us a child is born, un unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it, and establish it with judgment and justice from the time forward even forever. Isaiah 9, 6-7 The Plain Meaning did, Christ following, did Christ's followers understand that his teaching about God's kingdom concerned a literal world-ruling kingdom? Question. And that's what they state. And they go on to say, Indeed, they did. Notice this promise he gave to his disciples. Assured, assuredly, I say to you, that in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Excuse me. Now, Matthew, that is Matthew 19, will read... Matthew nineteen twenty eight. See also Luke twenty two, chapter twenty two, <clears throat> twenty eight through thirty. And I will read a little bit more, and then I will conclude this video. And basically, we can understand that Jesus Christ came to proclaim the good news and to to teach his disciples and to teach the world the world of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God and to let them be prepared for when he makes his second coming and when he comes to collect his church which is his believers in Jesus Christ and so we need to understand that after God's resurrect after God resurrected Jesus which Jesus was God in the flesh from the dead the disciples had a burning question for him therefore when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Acts 1, 6-7. And so I will read this last part or so, and I will conclude, and we will end this video, and we will pick up for, in a further discussion, but... We can only be we can only conclude that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the truth and the way and that no man come to the father but through the but through the glory of Jesus Christ our savior and forevermore will he be the true God and the true ruler of this world Jesus Christ is and will be forevermore so listen they say they, obvious, they obviously understood that a part of Jesus' mission involved a restoration of a literal kingdom, which, with Christ as ruler and the disciples reigning under him, Jesus told them, however, that the timing of the, establish, the establishing of the kingdom is known only to the God, only to, only to God the Father. Matthew 24:36. And so to conclude, which we will wrap up here and possibly go into one last part. But to conclude, I will say that it says here in Revelation eleven fifteen, we read that this kingdom will be established at the seventh prophetic trumpet. Then the seventh angel sounded and there was loud voices in heaven saying, the, kingdom of, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And, which the, and what that means is that Jesus Christ came down in the flesh, gave the good news, died, and then rose again to proclaim the prophecy, which is that Jesus Christ shall and will be forevermore and, and 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 we will reign with him in the kingdom of god with him in christ jesus through the salvation of jesus christ so 
the victory has already been established. So the reason why I created this channel and decided to call it Exposing 21st Century Satanism is because the problem is, is that Satan himself is a liar and a thief and some, excuse me, Satan is a liar and a thief and is someone who seeks to destroy your salvation, which was given to you through the Christ, through Christ Jesus, which cannot be stolen from you without without your own without your own consent because Jesus said if you do not give the devil consent to invade then he will flee from you in the name of Jesus Christ the devil will flee from you in the name of Jesus Christ and the devil has no power over you in the name of Jesus Christ and the devil will have no authority over you in the name of Jesus Christ and the devil will flee from you because the devil knows that Jesus Christ is the true king is the true ruler and when we look into the gospel and when we look into the good news the, Jesus did not just come for a certain point a certain a certain kind of people no Jesus Christ came for everyone to believe in him and that everyone that believe in him no one shall perish but will have for, will, but will have glory and dominion with Jesus Christ forevermore and that is the truth the truth is that the gospel of Jesus Christ is and will always be the only way to the kingdom of God and the heavens, which we call the kingdom of God. So anyways, I appreciate you if you've taken the time to listen to this channel. If you've listened to some other videos, I try to keep this. I try to keep this video light, but I also try to let you know that the devil is like a roaring lion, like they mentioned and the adversary of the devil and his goal and his mission is not to only annihilate, but to take and to crush and to maim your faith so you have to stand firm and you have to stand righteous in the path of jesus christ because if you do not stand firm in the lord jesus christ and you allow these devils to have dominion over you which i should say you allow the devils did not the devils but you allow the devil and his fallen angels to have dominion over you then you are doing yourself an injustice when jesus christ died the ultimate died and paid the ultimate price for sin which he shed his precious blood and forevermore he shall reign king. So thank you so much for listening. Until the next time we meet again, thank you for listening to Exposing 21st Century Satanism here on YouTube. God bless.